Good Two. evening and welcome to Music View on WNYU FM. It's another 7:30. I'm another Tim Sommer, and tonight we are here with one of you, with well, one of you guys introduce yourselves and just say who you are. Hi. Black. We're Flipper. Yeah, We're a Flipper. big a big name nobody band from from the West Coast. Why don't you why don't you introduce yourselves individually so we can get the voices straight with the names? <coughs> Start. Oh, what? My name is Will. I I'm liar, in Flipper. Liar. Liar. <laughs> Go ahead. I did it. Oh. His, his name is my name, Wood. My name is Bruce. Can, so he won't need that. You've got a new Everybody album out. <laughs> yeah. It's called The Album, is that what it's called? It's called yeah. Album. Yeah, not to be confused with Eater, who used that title four years ago for Did an they? Album. Yes, Eater. Generic. Album. But, but generic, they didn't... They, it, well, What's it's, it it's Album Generic Flipper. Yeah. So. It's a generic and it's, product. It's a generic product, except... So it is original. Uh, uh, Maybe. Screw Eater knowing... No, that was our other It's put out by the same people who do the generic laundry detergent. Oh, didn't we used to be? I don't know. I thought we were Eater. Now back in no, a, we're not. now here in 1982, you guys are becoming like sort of real trendy critics band. Like the critics yeah, are jumping on you. Is yes, I noticed the next big us. thing. I now noticed. So when I tell people, like I say, well, I do a hardcore radio show. Or I say I'm into hardcore. They say, oh, well, you like Flipper, as if Flipper was just invented in 1981 for the hardcore movement. But you guys have been around for years and years, right? And well, since cool. 70. 79, late. 1879. Yeah, 1879. We've been around for three and a half years. No, three and a half years we've been, yeah. Going on four in June. In June. No, it's already four unofficially and four officially in September. Or something. It's, we're, we've been around for a while, I don't know. <coughs> it's been millions of years at least. Have you guys been getting less noisy or more organized in those years or what? Yeah, and noisier. <laughs> I think this interview <laughs> and might less have organized. something to say about that. <laughs> we're we're still as confused as when we started, yeah. especially this time of the day. But we keep changing the confusion. We, yeah. Uh, so how's life in San Francisco for Flipper as opposed to life in the rest of the country? Um, wonderful. We we like enjoy ourselves and spend. I I enjoy myself and spend time doing what I want to do and. San and Francisco is like I'm a tourist city, you know. Yeah. That beautiful little spot in the edge of nowhere. It's just yeah. There's nothing going on there what? except except it's tourism and a bunch of mountains, bullshit politics. Completely isolated by the rest of the world. Got what? a lot of bowling teams and evangelist <laughs> groups, and moonies. There's, and there's yeah. a lot of interesting creative people there, but it's and a lot nice. of burnouts too. Yeah, it's nice because it's not competitive, and if if you don't want to do anything with your life, you don't have to. So. That's we're why we're there, because <laughs> we're not doing we anything with our lives. That. <laughs> That's why it took us so long to get out here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You were first out here so in the late fall or the winter? No, we came out the, or the, the earlier this spring or like March. end of the winter. We were Snow, out here. We did a tour of the United States by van slowly. Yeah, we got 50 miles an hour in, 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 in a milk <laughs> truck. <laughs> How did America take the flipper? Um, Better than we took to them. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, it was. It got. It was hairy at some points, but it was all right. Yeah, um, um, audiences were receptive, and in in both ways of accepting us, and then also also leaving the club completely because they hated us. You either hate <laughs> us or love us, and that's what they did. Most of the people, the only thing that they had gotten from us before was uh, a few records, and a lot of people were talking about how you know we're a hardcore band. Da, 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 da. Yeah, Jello, especially. So when people we're going to murder. See the show, they expected the band that was stylistically similar to Black Flag or uh, Dead Kennedy or Dead Fear Kennedy. or something like that. Somewhat taken aback by the fact that. Uh, we weren't. So some people left and kind of flipped out about it. Like other New stayed. Orleans. Like New where Orleans, everyone where everyone left. <laughs> so they were excited to really avoid New Orleans. No, they, they, wanted, they wanted something else. And the last time last time we played here, um, the, the Mud Club was, was like, it felt like a Los Angeles show because it was all like lots of hardcore people. And then when we played the Dance Interior, it felt like some little, else. little, well, some little hole. You know what the story was, was with that. People there. Jim Ferrat was afraid that you that you guys would draw a hardcore audience, so yeah. he refused to bill you. Uh, we yeah, <coughs> we, uh, we remember that. Just it said well. San Francisco Mystery Art Band or something yeah. like that at the point. Art he was afraid art of those damage. kids coming down. He doesn't want those people. I don't think those kids would go to that club just because they wouldn't want to go to that club. That's why they're at the mud or something. Well, not if there was a band there they wanted to see. Yeah, do they? Why don't we go to a song right now? An Earthworm. From Flipper on WNYU Music View. 
That was Earthworm from Flipper on WNYU Music View. I'm Tim Summer. Tonight we're here with Will, Bruce, Steve, and Ted from Flipper. Uh, What was the next step after the SF Underground EP? Um, we we, fell over. we 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 played a lot of small holes in San Francisco and forever. forever and ever and everybody it was mainly made, because we were banned from most of the other yeah clubs. we closed a lot of clubs and and people laughed at us a lot and people laughed at us a lot and people hated us we grew spiteful and we got we got nastier to the audience and then they started liking us and then we got nice to them uh-huh. and then they went away again and then they came back and it just it keeps going back and forth like Very that. cyclical. Huh? Something like that. It goes around in circles, right? Yeah, Cy- I yeah. think so, for some reason. <laughs> Everything is cyclic. Cyclic? This <laughs> is smirk. <laughs> this is what we were talking about last night. That's too horrible. It's, it's, all, water. it's all water. Excuse me, that's, our, that's the new theory. It's, it's all water. Let, let's circles. hear you expound on this. <laughs> no, that's <Expound>. not. <laughs> <laughs> um, if, if you really want it'll take about 24 hours. Really? <laughs> you only need have to use like six And you only words. need like about, yeah, you, you get, you get about six words and about four grams of methadrine <laughs> in your system and you can understand completely. It's all water. Well, if we, we, we just wait a little while for the people at home to get that stuff, so maybe we can start. Right. Stay you have vague. any extra mail stay, Yeah, stay vague. Send it to us, care of the station. Or not. No, send it to us and care of subterranean records. We'll, we'll test your speed for you, tell if it's any good. I'm not. <laughs> the, the record well, you were on similar, after similar the stuff. SF Underground EP was the Factrix record? Fact no, it's not, not the Factrix record. record. It's, it's, uh, it's live at Target. Live and there is Zev on it. Why does it say the Factrix on it? Uh, uh, no, Factrix is on it. Uh, Nervous Gender is on <laughs> it. Zev is on it. And uh, we are on it. Okay. And it's an Ooh. art concept album that, that was done of art bands. And we are just an art band. Are you still just an art band? Well, when we decide to be. <coughs> no, we didn't, no one knew what we were for, so they for tried a to long cat- time, and one of the boxes we were in for a while was yeah. Art Band. And then, which just like, we fit. got the hardcore box for a while, which, which doesn't fit. Which doesn't fit. Yeah. Most of the critics out there don't, don't know what they're on about. Lou Reed did a pretty good job at, at <laughs> blowing him, blowing away one critic in, in, on what, Take No Prisoners, you know. I mean, he kind of stated it all. What was it? Oh, was it? He said, this quote is so great. He said, you work for two and a half years on an album, some asshole in the village voice gives you a B. Big deal. And that's, that pretty much sums up. And what we get? An A. Bigger Big deal. deal. <laughs> oh my god. Now, now, just the point I was trying to make was that the stuff on that, you the know, Earthworm, make, Earthworm <laughs> from your first, from your from that the first EP, and yeah. from the stuff on the live at Target. Really, I mean, it sounds like a very different band than the last couple of singles in the album. And then the, the first single, Ha Ha Love Canal, sounds like a different band it is. Well, from that. Well, that. well, yeah, right. And then I mean, Sex Bomb. There's more of a link between like Sex Bomb and different, Ha Ha. A different, yeah. There's more mm-hmm. of a link. There's le- it's less production quality, <laughs> that's all. Well, it's and like then the album read is your even graduate less paper than that. In the, like in the school, right? By being if more. If you did a graduate paper and wrote it, it would be a lot different than your freshman uh, papers. Okay. <laughs> So he's still on critics. We're no, you know, um, earthworms like that too. We did it three and a half years ago. And we've learned to play. We've learned a lot of stuff about how to deal with our own with our own music the band, and evolve the band a lot. Keeps changing. Yeah, we we keep we're taking our time about it, developing gradually into nothing, <laughs> very much at all. But well, we can still it. enjoy. We can take anybody's song, no matter who it is, and make it sound like Flipper. Because, but because we, we don't can't play anyone else's song, so we'll play one of our own and just say it's We like to party though, and we like the audience to party, and we like everybody to get drunk, and we like to get drunk, and then just play and everybody have a good time. Yeah, and, and if and people are there correct. and 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 yeah, and be politically correct, whatever that is. But if well, we, you're from San Francisco, you have to be politically correct. Supposedly, right? you have not, to be not what? the reputation politically correct in San Francisco. But not the, that's a reputation <laughs> San Francisco has. Uh, that's just because most everyone that's from all, San Francisco. That's because. They blew, the the they blew it in the correct city in the country. They blew it because I've even found that a lot of the punk sign up from San Francisco are the ones who, who are the most political. Well, they political. fell for it. Well, that's because right. they listen that's to the Clash a lot, and Berkeley's right o- over yeah, there. Yeah, Berkeley's right across the bay, and that's <laughs> still, like, they're still in, 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 in 60s or something. Not any, well, not anymore. I mean, people still take the Clash seriously in San Francisco, which is weird, but true. And that's why you get that kind of idiotic belief of, Politically correctness, or not. 
Yeah. Got him badly. I said shut up. <laughs> See, yeah, it's been seven minutes since the last song, so Play it's time. Love Canal. Oh, okay. Three it? minutes overdue. See? Okay. Okay. Next Love song. Canal. Love we'll do Love Canal. Love Canal. This is the other side of the Ha 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 single. Right. The song that we thought was going to be more popular than Ha Ha, but, ah, but for little some did you know, Ha Ha. Just yeah. goes to show. Love it? Canal. Bye. Very very basic production on this song, right? Um, I believe so. Yeah. 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 Just sets Most up of our recordings plays. are like set up and play live, and tape them, and if it's good, we keep it, and if it's not, we don't. Uh, rather than you know, fourteen overdubs and little cherubs coming in with little mood of the doos. Until the album. Yeah, this next one's gonna be a labored album. No, I'm, the first one was enough. Anyway, play the song. Hey, what, is there anything else you'd like to say about Love Canal about what it means or anything like that before we play? Well, it? he wrote. Well, you said just you can give a brief explanation without babbling is, why you wrote the song. The yes, yes, this is still this on is the air. air. <laughs> I didn't. I don't know, man. Love Canal. I wrote. Um, I'd read about the Love Canal in New York upstate and I wrote a song that uses that as a metaphor for the rest of for what's happening in the world about in America about ha things falling apart kind and of and people being polluted and and cuz I was thinking it's really stupid to care about um, nuclear arms like and go out and demonstrate against that when you when your water is poison when you when there's radiation when there's all this other crud that's going to kill you very slowly and but just as effectively, you know. And yeah, you can think so a flipper as a fish, as a fin, or as a thalidomide baby. Yeah, but that's that's, uh, that had that's another to do with concept the song, that Ted's into. But, <laughs> but also, I thought the metaphor "love canal" was just a really beautiful and also metaphor in itself. People took a other; they thought it was a song about sex, sex. first, so Which, it, it fooled them for a little bit until they heard yeah. it. But the, just the image was great, and I like Im good images and stuff. So there. I All can't right, believe they would name a place Love Canal in the first place, unless it was like well, the, it was a well, sex it used to, it used, it used, well, it used to be a red light district. Uh, no. <laughs> Play the song. All right, then. Flipper on WNYU-FM. Music View 89.1 FM with Love Canal. That was Love Canal from Flipper on WNYU Music View. This is our interview show that's on every Friday night at 7.30. Tonight we are here with Flipper i.e. Will, Bruce, Steve, and Ted. Now, you were saying something before, Ted, about your concept of the different meanings of Flipper? Or had you finished uh, that point? Never mind. Oh, the other Nobody ones. would understand anyway. <laughs> yeah, we got another concept of Flipper called, called Pet Rock. And trying to define what we were, we weren't an A-R-T band, but we were a P-E-T band. Pretty Which existential is, uh, trash. existential trash. Or whatever else combination you come up with with a PET. -E we are anything you want us to be. We'll tell you anything Previously you want. Previously exhausted talents. That's about. That definitely fits. There's oh, I know what I want to test. Now, each one of those sleeves is different. Is that right? Um, yeah, the, 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 there's 7,000 on red vinyl with handmade sleeves. And then we sold out. Personally handmade by... Yes. Well, I, I did, like, probably about 4,000 of them. And these guys probably did a, a couple of thou. But I spent most of my time doing it. And also, every friend that would walk into my house and spend more than 10 minutes, I'd make them sit down and do them. I, I so never visited them at all. During yes, you did. I made Once. you come over twice. Twice? Oh, God. <laughs> I so, but I it's all it it's all original San Francisco um, brainless art. Brainless by, art. By original San Francisco. Now we've hit the core artists. of the matter here. Brainless art. Is this what is this what is at the heart of Flipper? No, I, yeah. thi I think I think so. Reactionary. But just, but but by being not brainless, I can't say that I think so. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's not no. It's yeah. not brainless at all. It's, it's from the heart. Is it artless it brain? Be, it seems to be brainless, but it's not. It's from the heart. Maybe. If I have one, where is it? But we do have a sense of humor about this. But nobody else understands the, the sense of humor we have. When, I mean, when you only laughed once Some so people far. understand, but ever. not very many. What about what? Ever. You've only laughed once ever. Who? You I or me? Never song on the album, ever. When these right, kids right. with the mohawks jump up on stage. Yeah. I mean, when you've got, when you've I got, think you I think people who jump up on stage and do slam dancing and stage diving are just into it for that. They could do it to Mozart. They, they could do it to care. anything. This is true. You know, if you really look at slamming though, and like see a bunch of different uh, groups of people doing it, there's all different kinds of little idiosyncrasy type yeah. of uh, variations. It's none of it's n none of like what we've seen of across Ritualized. the country of everybody's version of slamming is not uh, the same as L.A., where it's like. 
but you know, and it's the, the toughest, it's, it's and it's the meanest, and it's the gnarliest down there. But it died out down there already completely. It was already over with like nine months ago. It's basically yeah. just a ritualistic dance, it, and it takes on its own characteristics in different locales. Different, yeah. And, you know. If it died out nine months ago, what do like, they do now? I mean, in L.A., it, the, the original slammers died, died out. Dead. Yeah, people, people tend to pay they attention to the carry, band and music on. now and stuff, which is kind of In weird. Los Angeles, yeah. And yeah, San Francisco. And some, yeah. And and it's really creepy, and it means we have to like pay attention to what we're doing on stage and sometimes. And we just prefer if everybody got <laughs> drunk and we could get drunk and everybody would just have a fun time. Yeah, because it's hard, you know, like to play the to right notes. And, and to re and to be real Keeping serious time and stuff and it's it's more it's it's it it's a better show just if everybody just goes there trying to have fun yeah it's yeah. easier we aren't as mechanical as a lot of bands some bands will play the same song exactly yeah. the same three years later really? I mean no for no we can't play the no same song, song twice in, the same way the same way twice anytime do an awful lot of improv on stage yeah. You know, like somebody turn around and bang into all, knock all your uh, pegs out of tune so your guitar is completely out of tune. You can't quite so. play the same thing as what you thought you might play when you walk on stage. But even when we're, even if we are in tune, we'll, we'll be played different. Yeah. 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 It, it's not. It all goes. A lot of our stage stuff all goes by mood and what, yeah. how. If it, an audience is, is, is providing a good up atmosphere and wants to be excited and we're like that too then it works out good sometimes we are in a good mood and the audience doesn't isn't into it and so we appear um, uh, to be bored. big headed <laughs> or bored or cold or something and then sometimes the audience is real hot and we're dead and it changes all yeah. the time but this is it's not this was never a matter of policy it's just a realization of the way we were it's like all the bands <coughs> all, all the songs will always be recognized same if, song if we the wanted to play the same song twice we couldn't might be a little bit different does that now, mean that we're supposed it, to we, we, we haven't, haven't we haven't we have played anything yet off the album do you want to play something off let's the album yeah, yeah. let's, let's pretend play, to play no. something off the album play ever ever they're not really playing the songs. We're sitting here, and then they're gonna put the songs. Yeah, later. yeah, and this is actually pre-recorded. Yes. So, so because we're but not I'll call in and ask for Flipper. This always right. happens. We do these interviews. Yeah. So call People up, call up and say, all your Can questions. I talk this is all really fake. Questions. We're not listening to the songs in between, and we're really trying hard. So, so, so but we so please call up and ask. Any yeah, please. You like ask. <laughs> Flipper, Flipper, will, Flipper will be here. If you come down to the station, we'll sign autographs, and they're free copies of the album. Five six six. Place a yeah, ninth like bar. Right. Is this ever from Flipper now? on WNYU Music View?